Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do um, Huck's um, challenge of the 25 favorite directors and also an ensemble pick for a director that had an ensemble cast. And so this is the fourth and the last of these challenges. I know that he may be doing some more in the future, but this is the, um, the final one of the four. Now, some of these are going to be some odd choices. I may not remember the name of the director as I'm showing these, so I'll just put them down at the bottom if I can't remember to say their name. Um, also, some of these are kind of obscure, but based on the films that they've done, I really do enjoy the films. So that's the reason why I selected these particular um, directors. So first up, um, we have a Douglas Sirk film. And that is Written on the Wind. He, um, Douglas Sirk has done some really good classic Hollywood style films. He's got a really nice filmography and that's the reason why I selected him. And there's some really nice Douglas Sirk films in the Criterion Collection. So check those out. Um, next up we have Joel and Ethan Cohen, and one of my favorite films of theirs is Blood Simple. They've got such a great filmography, some really good films that I really enjoy. Probably some of my favorite directors is, um, are these two. And so Blood Simple was my selection for Joel and Ethan Cohen. Okay, next up we have um, Sidney Lumet for 12 Angry Men. I'm not very familiar with a lot of his films, but I really do enjoy this one. It's one of my favorites. So I definitely wanted to search out more of his filmography. Um, so I chose 12 Angry Men for um, Sidney Lumet. Okay, next up we have Billy Wilder directing um, Double Indemnity. Um, I really enjoyed this film. Really good classic film. Um, Billy Wilder has a really nice filmography. I want to check out some more of his films. So that's the reason why I selected him. Okay, next up we have um, Oliver Stone's Natural Born Killer. So I think Oliver Stone has a really great filmography. I think he's a really good director. I've enjoyed a lot of his films. There's more that I want to see. Um, I did enjoy JFK, but I selected um, Natural Born Killers just because of the performances in this one. So Oliver Stone is another director that I enjoy. Okay, next up we have a John Hughes film and I selected The Breakfast Club. Um, John Hughes has got such a great filmography. Um, a lot of good fun films from the 80s where I grew up and when I grew up and I really do enjoy all of John Hughes films so that's the reason why I selected him. Okay next up we have a Quentin Tarantino film and I selected Pulp Fiction. It's one of my favorite Tarantino films. Um, Tarantino, has, Tarantino has such a great filmography. Um, I do enjoy all of the films that I've seen that he's done. Um, really good storytelling, action, um, violence, all of those good things that make up a good movie. So Tarantino is another director that I enjoy. Okay, next up is a great director, and that's Tim Burton. So I selected Edward Scissorhands for Tim Burton. Um, of course, I enjoy Batman, Batman um, Returns, um, Beetlejuice, all of his great filmography. Um, I know everybody knows who Tim Burton is, and so he is one of the, um, my favorite directors. Okay, next up is a great director, and that is Christopher Nolan, and I selected Inception for his filmography. Uh, but he's done some great things, The Dark Knight, um, um, and, um, Interstellar, and so, so many other good films. So I chose Christopher Nolan. Memento is another good one. A lot of his films can be very confusing, though, so they do definitely take more than one watch. Okay, another one that's probably one of my favorite directors, and that is Alfred Hitchcock, and I selected Psycho for Alfred Hitchcock. I love Alfred Hitchcock films. Um, I love most of them, all of them. I've, I've seen a lot of those films. Not, um, some of them are um, hit or miss, but most of the time they're hits, and I really did enjoy Psycho, and I am very happy to have a lot of his filmography in my collection. Okay, next up we have a Martin Scorsese film, and that is Goodfellas, one of my favorites. Uh, Martin Scorsese has a really great filmography, and so he's definitely one of my favorite directors. Okay, next up um, is one of my favorite directors that I grew up watching. As you can see with my Jaws t-shirt, I've got Steven Spielberg, and I selected The Color Purple. Um, just because The Color Purple um, was one of my favorite movies growing up in the 80s. I remember seeing this in the theater twice um, in one day when it first came out. 
Um, but I really enjoyed the story um, and the music. And uh, most of every single Steven Spielberg film that I have, I really do um, enjoy and I love. So Steven Spielberg had to be in my um, top directors. Another great director is Brian De Palma, and I selected Blowout for, um, for Brian De Palma. Really good film filmography. I can't really think of all of his films off the top of my head all of a sudden, but definitely check out Blowout if you um, if you like Brian De Palma. That's a great one. Okay, next up we have Terrence um, Malick, and I chose Days of Heaven. Terrence Malick has a really nice filmography. He does have some really good stuff in the Criterion Collection. Beautiful cinematography. Very long. Um, he's got some very long movies. Um, this right here is not one of them. This right here is a really easy watch. Um, I've seen this a couple of times. I really enjoy it. So I chose Terrence Malick. Okay, next up we have um, George Lucas. And, of course, I had to select the Star Wars films that I grew up on. Um, but George Lucas, I really enjoy what he's done. Mostly because of the Star Wars films. So that's the reason why I selected him. Okay, next up, um, I've got King Kong, um, Peter Jackson, I believe. Peter Jackson, King Kong. I really enjoy um, King Kong. I definitely enjoy Peter Jackson's work. Definitely the Lord of the Rings series of films are amazing. And so Peter Jackson is one of my favorites. Okay, next up we have Clint Eastwood. He's a great director, a great actor, and that's the reason why I selected him. I love Clint Eastwood films. Unforgiven is one of those that I love. Um, he's got a really great filmography. A Perfect World is one of those that is one of my favorites that a lot of people don't talk about. But um, anyways, Clint Eastwood. Okay, next up is a very um, stylistic type director, and that's David Lynch. And so I selected Wild at Heart for David Lynch. He's got a lot of great films, um, TV series. Um, so anyways, David Lynch is another one that you should check out. Okay, next up is a great, great director. One of my favorites, and that's really Scott. And I selected The Last Duel for this, for him. This movie is amazing. I really enjoyed the story, the way that it was um, put together and the cinematography, but really Scott has such a great filmography. Um, some of those would include Blade Runner, um, The Martian, Gladiator, Thelma and Louise, so really great director that I enjoy. Okay, next up we have Francis Ford Coppola because of The Godfather. I do enjoy The Godfather film, especially 1 and 2, which he directed, and Apocalypse Now. Um, he did um, Rumblefish, which I like, um, but anyways, the Godfather films are so iconic, and Dracula. Dracula is another one that he did, so I really enjoy him as a director. Okay, next up is Frank Capra for It's a Wonderful Life. Now, I do enjoy old Hollywood style films, and Frank, Frank Capra has a lot of great films. Um, I can't recall all the names of them, but definitely, if you like the style of It's a Wonderful Life, definitely check out his filmography. Okay, another great old style Hollywood director is um, John Ford. And so I selected How the West Was Won for John Ford. I really do enjoy a good Western, and he has got some really great films in the Western genre. Um, some other ones, Stagecoach is another one that comes to mind, but definitely check out John Ford's filmography. Really great, especially if you like the old Hollywood style films. Okay, next up we have Sam Peckinpah, and I selected Straw Dogs. Um, Sam Peckinpah is a very unique um, filmmaker. He's got some pretty good films in, the film, in his filmography. Um, this one and The Wild Bunch are two that come to mind. Um, but if you've never seen this film before, definitely check it out. Um, from what I understand, he's a very, he was a very difficult director to work with. Maybe an alcoholic. Um, but anyways, I, I chose Sam Peckinpah. Okay, next up we have a film directed by one of my, a great director, and that is Stanley Kubrick and The Killing. The Killing is an excellent movie. I think this might be one of his first films, if not his first. Excellent story, great direction. Um, of course, we know Stanley Kubrick for The Shining. 
um, but I selected this film. Um, anyways, definitely check out The Killing for Stanley Kubrick. So those are my 25 films. Now I'm going to tell you what my ensemble pick is. So my ensemble pick is from a director who has done some really great TV series. Some of my favorite TV series such as Firefly, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel, and of course that is Joss Whedon. And I selected The Avengers. The reason why I selected The Avengers is because, of course, Joss Whedon. But it was so nice to see all of these superheroes come together for the first time. You know, after watching all of their single films. And then finally getting to see the payoff for this film. I thought it was really well done. I really enjoyed it. And I think Joss Whedon is a great director. Um, but anyway, those are my 25 favorite directors. Of course, 26 now that I've added Joss Whedon to the collection. Um, but please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my selections. And let me know what you think about some of these directors and maybe some of their films that I need to check out because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.